Hi there. Um, this is City Skylines for Beginners. This is tutorial number 16 and we are now finished creating our map um, and we're ready to start uh, playing in a game, creating a game. So we're going to, in this tutorial, publish our map to the new game panel and then start playing a game. So, and create a game from it and then start playing a game. So, uh, go ahead and open your, your tutorial, your map, as we've always done. Once you have it open, so that you're looking at this or something close to it, go up to the right hand corner up here. And where you see the sprocket, click it and do a save as we always do, only this time uh, before you go ahead and click on uh, your tutorial that you want to save. But this time, um, sorry about that, I was interrupted for about a half an hour. Okay, um, click on your name of your map to make certain you've got the right one and then before you save it go down here to where it says publish the map in the new game panel that's right above the save button and you'll have a big black uh, circle next to it click on that circle so that it has a shining blue light coming out in it that means that you're now going to publish the map to the new game panel which is a panel of maps that you can create a game from. So then you can say save and say overwrite the save, yes. There, so now we have saved it to the game panel. Unless we go back in and change it, that's what the game will start from. We can always go back in anytime we want to to this game on the games list and go into it and change it say we wanted to put something new in there another lake or you know whatever um, we can do that but then when we turn it back into a city when we publish it again with its changes and we pull it up to make a city um, the city that we've created previously on it isn't going to be there. We're going to start all over. So make certain you have everything in your game, uh, I'm sorry, in your map that you want to have done before you publish it. Like maybe say I didn't want this to be here. I wanted it to be smoothed out more. Um, I should have done that uh, before and I should have done it with a bigger brush. There. See, I should have done that part before I made the game. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had it. There. Up. Oh. I really messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, so you want to make certain you have all of your changes made in your game before you save it to the gaming panel. Because once you start creating a city on it, if you go back to change it and then pull it up as a city again, you won't have the city you made in it before. Okay, I'm repeating myself, so I'm going to stop now and uh, take you back to the menu. So, okay, so uh, we'll repeat that. You go, you save, you save the map. You just pretend you're going to save it like you always do. Make sure you have your name up here and then make sure you have the blue light down below to publish the map in a new game panel and then say save and yes. Then you can quit the map Go to your main menu, main menu, uh, go to uh, load game, or I'm sorry, go to new game, and down at the very bottom, you should now have your tutorial map 
that you created listed in the games and you can click start click on your tutorial map but now you're making a new game out of it so you say start oh and it should open up your game your map as a game after it gets done giving you hints of what you can do once you get into the game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're going to have to back up anyway because I forgot to show you how to set it so that it's... We have it on easy right now, but I don't know that you have it on easy on your map. So... Uh, go back to, go ahead and, and, oh, okay, so pausing the menu, go to, I think it's in City Statistics. No, it's not. Go to Quit. Go to Main Menu. My bad. Sorry about this. But this is something we have to do. Otherwise, you'll wind up in hard mode, and your game will just continuously crash. Okay, so you once you're in the menu, instead of going to New Game, go to Content Manager first. And then over in the left-hand side, there's a, one above Styles that says Mods. Click on that. Not Styles, not Color Corrections, but Mods, M-O-D-S. And then you'll see that you, you may see that you have Hard Mode on. Um... And you may not have unlimited money or unlock all on. So what you want to do is you want to make certain that the hard mode up here at the top is clicked so that there's no blue light behind it. Okay, it's black. <clears throat> the unlimited money, you want to click it with a blue light so it's on. And the unlike all progression milestones are always unlocked. You want to click that so that it's always blue, always on. This gives you easy mode, which is what we're going to start out in. Um, I play in hard mode myself now, but I didn't for about two or three months. I enjoyed just playing in easy mode because you can learn a lot of things in that without the frustration of having the game constantly run out of money and die on you. Okay, so then once you've got that done, you can go back up to the X up here in this upper right hand corner of the content manager click the X and now you can go to new game and go down to your tutorial map name whatever you gave it I have OC tutorial 2 here and then click start there we go now we're going to go in and play the game It'll come up saying congratulations, all of your milestones are reached, you just click it off. It'll come up telling you let's make roads, just click it off. Okay. And if you take, let's see. Oh, I've got it sideways. No wonder it wasn't making any sense. Now it's going to start you out with just your one square here. This is your starting square. This is why I kept saying you have to have everything you need in your starting square because you can't click out here and do anything right just yet. Okay? If you go down here, if you want to get all of your city right off, which we probably should do, go down to the bottom here and where you see the globe, click on, first off, uh, put your city on pause down in the bottom here get your bunny ears up in pink I guess or orange and then go to the areas section down here which is the globe click on that and it will show you your starting square and squares you can buy next to it so just click on the one to the right and down in the bottom of the new tile thing that comes up just say purchase 
Then click on the one to the right of that, which is where we want to have access to your stream that you say purchase. This is the stream where we're, where we're going to put in the hydropower plants. So then the one just above that, say purchase, click on it, left click on it, say purchase. Then going back to your middle square, do not purchase this one. Going back to your middle square, click on the one that has above it all of the trees and click purchase. And then the one above that where the industrial area is that we're going to need, click that and say purchase. Then down here at the bottom, again, do not purchase these two, do not. Click on the one just to the left of your starting tile, say purchase. And the one just to the left of that where we're going to, and say purchase. This is, we need these because this is where we're going to have our docks. And then over here at the far right, above the tile at the bottom of the far right, click that one and say purchase. Um, that's where people are going to be able to come in and, and go play and we can put an area there for fun. Now, when you get done, you should have an, a, an E shape here that laying on its side that has a long tongue in the middle. If you don't, then take a close look at this, and this is what you should do. You won't be able to unpurchase any of these. If you made a mistake, at this point, this is when you need to go out of this game, just quit the game, okay, without saving. You'd come up here and you would quit the game, don't save, and then open up, get back into a new game, and then open your map and make certain that you have these squares purchased, because they're the ones we're going to be working in. If you don't have this done this way, then you'll be lost. Okay? So that's the end of this one. I'm just getting you started. Uh, I will see you in tutorial number 17 when we will actually start playing the game now that we have all of the portions of the game purchased correctly. Okay, that's it for this one. Bye. Don't forget to save this game. We'll go through it. Okay, now that you've got the E, once you're sure you have the E the way you should have, you go up and you save the game. And now you're going to give your game a name. Right now, it's called um, whatever was whatever was played last is what it's called. So you'll want to maybe change it to something else. We're going to call I'm going to call mine uh, Ocean Shores Tutorial Game. And then up here with your city name. Oh, I guess we can't change the city. We should have changed it when we opened up the the game. Uh, my bad. That's okay. It really doesn't matter that much, I don't think. So, then we say save. Unless you're going to use Steam Cloud to save on, in which case you would click this one. I don't because I save it just to my own computer because then I'm playing on my computer, not on the internet. We have lousy internet here, so I play everything on the internet, and the only time I use uh, the internet is when I'm uploading something, like to the use YouTube. Okay, so you say, get your name in, say save, and you now have saved your city, not your game, and from now on you will go to load game, um, to start your games. That's what we'll do in tutorial number uh, 17. Okay, we're done with this one. I will see you next time. Bye.